All right, welcome. I'm the Boston Tech Gear Examiner, and I'm going to show you today how you get PDFs on your iPad. Now, uh, if you're like you know me, the first thing I want to do is figure out how to do that, just because one of the main features of this device is it's an e-reader, and so natively, uh, you can really there's no way to get the PDFs on there because Apple doesn't really give you a way to do that. So after doing some quick research, I figured out that a program called GoodReader which is available in the App Store for 99 cents is really like it's the best way to do it. Um, for a buck, you know, you can't go wrong, and it's actually a really great app. They've been making it for the iPhone for a while, and they just ported it over, made an iPod or iPad version, and uh, it's great. So what I'm going to do is show you how to get your PDFs on there. Uh, you can do it a number of ways. You can do it either by connecting it to a server, um, or you can do a direct USB connection, which is what we're going to do today. So, after you've installed Goodreader, you click over to your devices panel and you go to iPad, you go over to apps, and you'll see your sync app screen right here. You're going to go down to a thing called file sharing. You may not have used this before, but what it does is it's kind of a gateway to get files from your computer, your desktop, onto your iPad, or your iPhone, or whatever device you're using um, iTunes to sync. So we're going to go over to this screen, I'm going to pull up the manual for my digital camera. I'm going to drag it right into this little uh, well right here. And as you'll notice, the sync has already begun. It's not, you don't have to go in and do a sync um, across the board. It'll do it one at a time. And it doesn't take very long, um, you know, five seconds, and it's already on there. So then you go back into Goodreader, and my document that I just transferred there is right up there in the list side. I'm going to click onto it, and there it is. Um, very legible. Uh, there's a number of controls. The best, you know, if you're holding this like this, there's tap zones. So that's going to be page forward. The page back is up here. You can also go like that. It's kind of legacy from the iPhone, so you have to go up a little bit for it to do it. So it's not that great. Uh, and then you type in the middle. It's going to bring up your menu, and you can go to a direct page like that. If I wanted to go to page 130, there you go. So that's it. Good, called Good Reader, and it's 99 cents. If you want to view PDFs on your iPad, this is the way to do it.